guys, welcome to Alice's Beauty Land. Um, I'm very new to this, so what I thought I would do, instead of doing um, something particular, I thought I would do a quick guide of what I'm loving at the moment. So let's get started. Recently, I've got back into Benefit. I used to love Benefit um, a couple of years ago, um, and then for some reason went off it. I and now have got back into it massively, it's amazing. Anyway, let me quickly show you um, this uh, particular uh, product that I've been loving this month, which is Benefit Rocketeur. So that's the packaging, and I mean, that packaging is amazing, isn't it, anyway? You've got the black um, and pink lace, which is a little bit sexy, and then through uh, the center, you've got like a gold crocodile skin. And if you open it up, you see that. How stunning is that? It's like a blush um, highlighter, um, but what I do is I put um, the blusher on, and then whatever blush you decide to use, and then put this over the top, so it does give it that little pink, um, pinkness and give it that little warmth but this amazing highlight I don't know if you can see I've got it on today every single little thing you want to highlight whether it be your uh, cheekbones or your brow bone or your cupid's bow um, it highlights anything and the color is stunning so that is a big favorite of mine at the moment and it smells delicious it smells like a floral perfume so we always want that that's a plus and it does have a little um, mirror in there um, also and it does come with the little brush as well if any of you have these benefit compacts um, which I personally don't particularly use but um, it's worth um, giving it a go if you haven't used it on to the next thing this I picked up the other day from Mac and if anyone's been into Mac recently they'll know that they've got the new packaging so this is the new packaging and it's metallic. I really like it. It's really professional, um, very sleek and inside this is the mineralised guilt by association eyeshadow. It's like a black gold kind of baked mineralised colour. It is absolutely stunning and I also think with, um, I don't if anyone has MAC Fix Plus, with a drop of that it will be like a liquid metal which is really on trend at the moment. Um, so this may be in the outer corners or all over the lid if you're going for that kind of vampy look. So that's the new Guilt by Association MAC Mineralised. The next one I have, again by MAC, a new purchase, and I tried it on the other day and love it. I'm really into nude lips at the moment, and I have um, a nude lip on the moment, and this is Creme Cup um, by MAC. So I just think nude is amazing because you can put any lip, um, any eyeshadow with it, um, any look that you want, a heavy contour, a natural look, um, a dark eye, a smoky eye, any colour eye, um, you're not limited. So I picked up another one and this is called Flesh Pot Satin Lipstick by MAC and it's very smooth, very smooth, I'll show you on the skin and it comes out actually a bit darker than it looks and it's just one of those classic amazing nudes that you can run to um, if you can't be bothered to put any makeup on just whack a nude lipstick on or you can put it with a really nice um, liner the texture of it as well is really nice it goes on so well what I find sometimes is the kind of satiny um, matte colors they just crisp up my lips I don't know if it's just me but this one is really nice maybe put a bit of a balm um, underneath just to help it stay on it's really really smooth and goes on really nicely and I think will also suit all skin tones I mean I'm quite pale um, at the moment um, at the moment I've got a lot of, of I've got some tan on and I've got obviously makeup on as well but normally I'm quite pale and I still would run and grab this one the next one I'm going to uh, talk about is probably not a surprise to anybody at the moment everyone's talking about it the Naked 3 Urban Decay palette and it is just 
amazing i have the, the second one as well but this one for some reason i kind of go to um, a little bit more for the um for an, an evening look whereas the naked two i think is more of a day i guess it depends how you wear it and on what colors you choose to go for but the one thing that i loved about this was um you've got your 12 colors like you normally do you've got four matte shades as well which is great for inside the crease um, or for blending out um, a particular look but also what I'll do is show you this colour here called Blackout which is black with kind of red pigments in it how amazing is that colour that is so nice and as you can see they're so pigmented so pigmented so you need the tiniest tiniest amount with these they're very glossy easy to use very blendable um, you can use the subtle colors in the day or you could smoke it out for the evening or you could do kind of like an all gold or an all rose gold whatever you fancy really um, it's so workable and also um, what I like about it is the packaging it's so nice and handy if you're going away as well because instead of taking individual eyeshadows you could just take this little beauty here um, so I'm very into this right now and would definitely recommend it I know it's slightly on the pricey side but if you just think you are getting 12 uh, eyeshadows um, in the palette so and they will last a long time because they're so pigmented on to my final favourite this month, I thought I'd keep it quite short because I can just ramble on forever, is this. Now I don't know um, if too many people, um, what people know about Illamasqua, um, because I was fairly new to it um, like a year ago or so, maybe a year and a half. Their uh, products are so good. They're very bold, very risky colours, which I love, um, but they also have great face products so this for example I'll show you it's just like a screw top and it has this little spatula and open up this and it's called the Hydra Veil and as you can see it's like a gel um, like a hard gel and if I just take a bit off the spatula Um, and basically what I do with this, it's called Hydra Veil, so if you suffer um, with dry skin, which I do, really dry sensitive skin, you put this on before your foundation and it just kind of quenches your, your face, it masks your face, face in this kind of like watery gel and you can literally feel your face kind of sucking all the, the moisture in from it and it makes such a, ba a great base for your foundation and it just holds the foundation so long. I put it on generally um, if I'm going out um, say on a weekend and I know I'm going for a whole day maybe a lunch or a dinner and I'll put it on and I know that if I put it on I will have my foundation and my makeup on all day. It is so nice um, and again you only need the tiniest amount um, so it goes so far. I've had this for a while now um, and I use it pretty much every day. Um, they've also got the matte veil out now, um, which I haven't tried, so that would be quite a good look as I think um, going into the full matte look um, will be will be really on trend um, and really popular, so that might be worth trying. I'll give you a first impression um, on that if I try it as well. And if any of you have tried it and prefer it to the Hydra Veil, just let me know on, on comment below because uh, I'll be I'm really interested to see what that's like. Also, I've actually just noticed that all of the things I showed you below would make one amazing look. I might do um, a, a look on that um, soon as well. So it'll be more like a, a kind of rose gold nude um, shimmery look. So if you guys want to see that, then um, please um, subscribe and hopefully we'll have that up soon that's everything for today um i wanted to keep it short and sweet um just a little intro about me and a little bit about what i'm liking at the moment i'm hopefully going to keep uploading a few of these i'll also do some tutorials hopefully some halloween tutorials as well um if you guys like it um give it a thumbs up and if you have any comments or questions please um do ask below that's it i guess um have a great day and thanks for watching